What's going on everybody? My name's Haas with Onyx Block. Today we're going to be talking about an altcoin that I'm very excited about. But before we get into it, drop a like on the video, give me a subscribe. Let's talk about revolutionizing our supply chain. Let's get into it. If you ever wanted a cryptocurrency with an actual use case that's being used today, VeChain is probably exactly the digital asset that you're looking for. VeChain is a blockchain solution to our supply chain problems today. VeChain has use cases in luxury brands, food production, and so many other industries. China has actually been a big partner in utilizing the VeChain blockchain. China specifically has an issue with counterfeit items. Now this issue isn't isolated to China. There is a lot of people that often get scammed in eBay, Amazon, or any other online retailer, or even in stores in any country. So when you're a collector and you're looking for something to verify the authenticity of that item, a blockchain like VeChain is definitely going to make impacts in the future. This is going to take the trust out between the producer and the consumer and make sure that the product that they're actually buying is the product that they paid for. Just by scanning a QR code, you can see the collective information that VeChain has gathered on the item's production. VeChain combines all the information in the production process from all the individual points of the production. It combines the internet of things, which is just the information that each individual device is scanning. So if a worker scans an item on the, in one production, or it goes out to shipping, or it goes out to a cooler and kept at a certain temperature. These things are typically recorded with instruments. VeChain collects that data and unifies it into the blockchain. It makes sure the information is tamper-proof, and the big uses come into when we're talking about food safety. One concern particularly that I have looking at today, I wouldn't go to the store and buy Atlantic salmon. There's a lot of reasons for it, but one of the big reasons is because they're pumped full of antibiotics and 90% of Atlantic salmon is farmed this way in specific farms around the world. Now, not all Atlantic salmon is farmed this way, but I avoid the product entirely because I know the majority is. So instead I buy substitutes that I know are typically wild caught and not farmed with antibiotics. Having a blockchain like VeChain completely solves issues like that. It puts information in the consumer's hand to make informed decisions based on how that product is produced. So obviously the applications in the consumer world is massive. So VeChain currently went through a rebranding to VeChain Thor. Thor is a blockchain that has value based on the participants of the ecosystem. The VTHO token is simply a gas token to complete transactions. Holding one vet produces 0.000432 per day. So essentially anyone holding VeChain in a wallet will get VThor with it. With a blockchain of this size, it needs to have the capabilities to handle tons of transactions happening every second. So VeChain has 10,000 TPS. So it definitely has the scalability to handle infrastructure at a large scale. VeChain also has a number of partnerships. Some big ones in China include Starbucks, McDonald's, and Walmart. So you can see that VeChain is already being used by the industry giants today. What I typically think about when I invest in cryptocurrencies, is this crypto going to be around in the next 10 years? As much as I'd like to put money on speculation and everything else, I want to make sure that I'm putting money on a, as close to a sure thing as possible. And VeChain is exactly that for me. Now, I would like to state this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You should definitely do your own research when you're looking into adding any altcoin to your portfolio. Obviously, in the last few months, VeChain's made a huge rise above a fraction of a cent. And just recently, having a little spike to two and a half cents. Obviously, I'm happy about this because my VeChain position nearly doubled. So let's talk about the numbers really quick with VeChain. The market cap is 1.6 billion, and that seems small considering the use case, at least in my opinion. Circulating supply is 64 billion. The more circulating supply, the lower the token price is going to be. Same thing happens with low circulating supplies. The token might be higher. So definitely be careful of some projects that might have overvalued tokens because simply they just don't have a lot of token supply. I find the token supply a little irrelevant with VeChain considering the use case. The current price is just over two and a half cents and it's grew about 403% over the course of the year. So obviously my big investment thesis in cryptocurrency is usually that utility wins the day. And I'm gonna stick with that and I feel good about adding VeChain to my portfolio. And I look forward to VeChain in 2021. Thank you very much for watching guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and like the video if it's helped you at all make a decision on VeChain and subscribe for future crypto content. Thanks everyone. Happy hodling.